I'm trying to give an overview of the organic farm um, here in just outside uh, central Havana and this is an, they produce for the community here it's pretty huge uh, we're on a tour here I've been to this place a number of times whoops this is the uh, like lettuce and stuff lettuce and stuff huh I don't know um, because I'm not following the tour they're up ahead I'm not hearing what they're saying, but here you can see some fields ready to be planted. There's a guy, I don't know if you can see him way down there. Um, there he is. He's taking care of plants. People come from the United States. They get quite a few visitors here, and some of them come... Actually, I was here a couple of years ago, and there was a group of Americans uh, talking to a group of Cubans about some kind of reciprocal planning um, of some kind, uh, but that's changed in the last year with our new administration. Um, things have uh, pretty much closed down and the relationships have gone distant again, unfortunately, but Americans still come here every day to visit. We just ran into a group from National Geographic th that was here a few minutes ago, they just left. Here's my group and um, that's Isis, that's her name, Isis, with a black shirt on the left giving us the tour. She's very funny. Um, what else do we see here? This is really not going to. Um, it's really not going to uh, show you all the full extent because I'm not going to be able to keep this on for long. And I do want to get back to the group and hear what she's saying. I just wanted to come over here. This is a guy spraying something. Is, I hope I didn't get you dizzy. All right, well, here that's the idea. It's um, people come from from other organic farms, uh, uh, mostly um, uh, urban organic farms in the United States, and come here to visit, to learn, and to take technology back. It's pretty amazing here. So I'm going to shut this down now, and maybe I'll start another one later.